sneaky Linux back tonight, and tonight we've got Ubuntu Karmic Koala. Now I know I had said I wasn't going to do this, but I'll change my mind. I'll just do a little short one. I won't go into too much stuff. But the first one we're going to is Ubuntu Software Center. Now this used to be Add and Remove, and basically just added a graphical interface for it. Now people have been using Ubuntu for a while, so oh, why do we have to have it? Well, on the other hand, if you're new to Ubuntu, this might be easier for you. That's my option anyway. And this is what it looks like. No different from the other one, really. A bit more description, but that's about it. There's plenty of programs in here, so that's cool for me. So anyway, we'll just scroll down. We'll find one to look at, basically. Let's have a look. What we got here? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Nomad 2. Basically, you click on it. Click on the arrow. It gives a short explanation, and if you want to install it, you just install it. And it adds all the dependencies, etc., etc. Yes, you could use Synaptic, but hey, it's there, so... Might as well use it, I suppose. Second good thing I like about it is the sound preferences. Thank God. Now, this time, we get an option to increase our volume above the 100% that it was before. So now, when you've had a few ciders and you want to have some loud music for your headphones, you can actually play loud and not normal. Yes, I know it's bad for your ears, but hey. As you can see, I'm only using an ordinary onboard sound card, so it's pretty crap. But it works. There's the input section. As you can see, you can mute it. And you can amplify the mic too, which is always good for me. Very, very good. And you've got your output, which is the same internal analog audio and applications that are using it, which is nothing at the moment. So anyway, we'll close that down. Go to the next thing that I like. Right, where should we go? Right, games. And then you get separate sections for your games now. So you've got Arcade and Logic. Uh, it's all right, yeah. I suppose it shortens the menu a bit, because mine was going off the page before. But this game I like, I found the repos. I don't know if you remember Elite from about 25 years ago. Well, now you can play it again 25 years later as Elite. Now I've had some fun playing this, it brought back some memories. And it is good fun, time consuming, but fun. Very good. Next, what we got down here. Right, Play on Linux. Now, Play on Linux helps you run Windows applications, games, etc., using Wine on Linux. Right, there's an updated version. I tried to do that last night, but it got stuck, so I'll try again later anyway. But anyway, if you click on Install, and say we'll go over to Games, is all the games you might want to play. None of mine were on it, but I've still got them to run, so it wasn't a problem. But if you play these sort of games, this is the one for you. I'm not sure if they all work, but they might do. You never know. Very good. That's another plus, really, isn't it? Browser is a Firefox 3.5 as usual, nice and quick, looks really nice on here. I've had no problems with Karmic really, sound to start with, but that was my own fault as usual, but I was expecting that, not a problem. As you see, go to YouTube, we'll check out Flash, see how our Flash works on the new one. Let's find one, there you go, that'll do, just a little simple one there. Get a look on YouTube, and that video quality is not my capture card, it's the actual video on YouTube, but as you can see, Works fine, lovely, super duper. Anyway, what else can we go to? Let's have a look. Internet evolution is standard. I actually prefer Thunderbird. Old habits die hard, as they say. So I've installed that Thunderbird, and I'm using that. And I'm also using Pigeon, and I'm not using Empathy. Some people say Empathy is better. I ain't had time to play with it really. I've only had it installed for a day yet, and I'm still getting around. So you know. Now this one, on the other hand, I found in the repos and in Adam Remove. Well, sorry. The, uh, the repository, shall we say. Linux Multimedia Studio. Right here, you can make your own tracks. And you thought, well, where am I going to get the samples from? Well, it actually gives you quite a lot of samples to start with, as you can see. Plenty of samples for you get mucking about with. I'm going to be playing with that for quite a while, I think. Another good point. Bearing in mind, I've upgraded from Gutsy on this machine, so it's been quite a while for me. Rhythmbox is standard. KDN Live. Now, apparently, I've been told this actually doesn't crash this time. I've yet to find it out myself, but if you know different, let me know. But apparently it doesn't crash so much, so that'd be good if it does work that good. Anyway, we're getting near the end now. Desktop backgrounds. Got some nice ones this time. Nice and nice. Nice HD. Lovely. I'll just change that one. Lovely, isn't it, really? On the whole, Karmic Koala. 9 out of 10. Very good. I'll be using it until... Well, until then. Sneaky Linux going out to play. See you later.